All right, let's go on to the next one. We're, we reached halfway through now. The Thing Maker. Okay, now let's save. <laughs> Okay, uh, SCP-495 is to be kept in a locked room, plugged into a standard active 120 volt power outlet with... Oh, now I got something in me eye. I got something in me ah. I got something in me ah. Volt power outlet when, when not in use. A life-size mold of a clam, oyster, or other species of Cecil B. Valve. Personal... Personal uh, footnotes. Personal uh, reminder: that Not all bivalves are sessile. I don't know how to say those two words. I never heard. I never read them before. In the event of the mold being destroyed, consult with an own unstaffed medicologist before obtaining a replacement. It will be stored within SB four nine five. The mold is to contain no more than hundred one uh, hundred grams of wax. In the event of a power failure, at least one level one security personnel must enter the storage room and monitor the item for activity until power is restored. Researchers wishing to use SB495 must submit a written description of the planned experiment to Dr. Blank due to the results of experiment SB495 uh, blank. All modes and materials must be approved by at least one level three or higher personnel before use with SB-495. At least one personnel with experienced reading ven venomous bites and stings must be available on standby while SB-495 is in use. I am very curious what this is. It's just as the thing maker. So, uh, uh, so far, nothing in the contain procedure has told me what, uh, like has really hinted on what it, what it does and what it is. Description SCP-495 appears to be the to be the oven from a 1992 Toy Max Creepy Crawlers playset. Save that the Creepy Crawlers logo sticker has been replaced with the logo from a 1964 metal thing maker hot plate, a toy of virtually identical functions to be more recent Toy Max version discontinued by Mattel in the 1970s due to insufficient safety features. While SCP-495 is plugged into a standard 120 volt power outlet, it functions as a normal creepy crawler's oven. When not plugged into a power outlet, SCP-495 displays the following anomalous behavior. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it makes you really good pies. <laughs> so good that you just eat and eat and eat until you die from the pure... <laughs> from becoming so full. Upon insertion of a filled or potty, or potty filled mold, here we go, 19, uh, SB 495's activation switch moves to the on position automatically. The internal heating lamp appears to remain unlit, but the oven begins to gain warmth from an unknown, from an unknown source, reaching a peak internal temperature of 257.2 degrees Celsius as measured by infrared camera. That is... I mean, I, I usually cook and bake only like around the, with the around the eight hundred, uh, eight hundred, <laughs> the two hundred, the one hundred eighty to two hundred twenty. So I, so I think two hundred, almost two hundred sixty is pretty extreme for an oven. After approximately eight minutes, SB four nine five's activation switch moves to the off position automatically. Contrary to the behavior of a standard toy max creepy crawl oven, SB four nine five's door will up, open immediately instead of remaining locked while the mold mold cools. Okay. All mold I molded items will animate upon removal from the oven. Ah, oh, that's why it's called the thing maker. Uh, behaving as though they were natural organisms. Animated objects are physically de detailed well beyond what their molds would seem to allow. Appearing physically identical to the na natural counterparts, save for unusual color coloration corresponding to the materials used to fill their molds. Dissection of animals, objects, reveal tissue. Tissues and other internal structures composed entirely of whatever material was used to fill the mold. Any substance and mold used with SB-495 will produce results. Handmade molds or substances other than toy max or metal plastic goop, such as chocolate or wax, will result in animate objects. And then just because they're made of plastic doesn't mean they're safe. Where the, where the venom comes from, I don't know. But Asian Blank is now in the, now in the infirmary after being bitten by a tiny purple Asp, please treat the products of SP-494 as you would any venomous animal. 
Ah, uh, okay. Damn, okay. <laughs> this is a cute one. I, I think it, it is definitely one of the weaker ones. I do agree with the rating a little bit, but I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. I think this is a. <laughs> This seems like a like a thing that like a thing that kids would love to have as a toy. <laughs> Be able to like create little animals. But the thing is of course if you do, these animals actually act like the wild animal. <laughs> so even if you create like a like a hand sized uh tiger, that thing might attack you. <laughs> it might not be deadly attacking, but it will still hurt. It will probably like claw you, bite you and all that stuff. Like it will still hurt. <laughs> And as and as as is read here, like if you make something that like, might be venomous, not good, not good. No, I do like this one. Um, I, 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 I for some reason I have a weird sense of deja vu about this, like as if I, like in my childhood I saw like some sort of oven, not in real life, in like a show. I did something similar to that. Like you threw it in the oven, you cook it, and then just, it comes out, and it's just like it's like it's, and it's just it's alive. Something something about that seems like it's uh, in, it's in my head. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. And as always, right in the in the, the comments, what do you guys think about this one? We're going on to the next one. We we we're slowly but surely reaching the end of this.